So that's what Ryan, what I was talking about. From here, guys, there's no uppercut, uppercut, there, there's no heel exposure. It's gonna look a little bit different. Now, this foot, guys, I'm gonna take it as far away from Keanu's feet as possible, right? I wanna take it out. So we're almost like in that S hip position that we've been waiting in class. Now, in this little space, right, right underneath his knee, my thumb is gonna fit perfectly. Okay, so I'm gonna do a thumb post into this pitch. Right? <coughs> now, I'm gonna high step onto my knee, I'm gonna push with my hand, and I'm gonna finish the job with my foot, and then I'm gonna face Keanu again, finish. Okay, so this is called the running man escape from the side, right? So we're, we're doing it already when my legs are separate. Okay, so my legs are separated, I'm gonna point my toe, and I'm turning my heel towards Keanu, and I'm pointing my knee away from him, right? He wants my knee to point towards him, he wants my heel exposed, so I'm doing the exact opposite. Don't overthink it too much. Thumb goes into this space, I'm actively pushing, I'm gonna start to come up, high stunt to my knee, and now I'm gonna use my foot to kick in his hamstring, and I'm gonna pop out the back door, and I'm gonna face him once more, okay? That's it. So um, later, guys, you're going to be caught in these kinds of positions where he has the second leg, right? But for Keanu to attack this leg, can somebody get a thing? For Keanu to attack this leg, he's going to have to, for a second, split second, separate. And as he's doing that, that's when I'm going to do my skip. Okay? So um, for the newer students, just start here already. Forget about the second leg. For the more experienced students, you can do the whole sequence. For example, uh, Keanu, let's do a saddle uh, entry that you like. What's, what's a saddle entry like? Butterflies? It's your position, man. Come on. Oh, All right, so <laughs> he's going to mess up. He's going to mess up. Camera's on. So. <laughs> so he's going to do the entry on me, whatever entry he wants. And then on the, on the finish, I'm going to escape. And I'm going to be able to get it. What's up, Jay? You're messing up our YouTube video by Eric and Jordan. That's Jay right there. Why the camera thing? <laughs> cool guys. All right, guys, our YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe to that YouTube channel. I see everybody always doing that in every video, so we got to do it too. All right, thanks, Jay. But never mind. All right, guys, let's go. One, two. Let's, let's talk. We're going to keep doing this escape, and then we're gonna, the counter is going to come in a second. All right, but let's talk about a couple of things. When I have Keanu on the saddle, guys, all right, when I'm here, uh, several things, guys. Number one is don't triangle your legs. Okay, this is number one. Triangle your legs, guys, it's going to be very easy for him just to slip his knee out without doing much because these are going to slide out. Does that make sense? So if I'm seated, I want to be crossing and I'm curling in. Okay, I'm getting a nice bite. So now, without doing the running end, try to get your leg out, Keanu. It's not going to happen. It's going to be very hard. You could also, guys, go foot on foot like Keanu was doing. This is correct also. So either crossing or foot on foot. If you're going to cross, there is a wrong and right way. The leg that's closest to him is underneath because if I go like this, then my foot slides. You see that? He's able to kind of push. So that's going to be it. Oh, but sometimes I see people triangle. You're right. If I'm on a hit. So if I'm on a hit, I can triangle my legs. Because now it's going to be tighter. If I cross here, now it's the inverse. There's too much space. Now his leg is going to slip back. So here I'm going to triangle. Only if I'm laying on a hit. Okay, but if I'm seated, I'm either crossing or I'm going foot on foot. The other thing, guys, for the newer students, don't mistake. If you already have your heel caught, if this heel is already exposed, don't do this escape. You're going to break your own leg. 
and you see some high level competitors rolling and stuff like that, there's a lot of nuances there that make that work. Don't, don't try to do that. If you get your heel caught, before you're able to do it, you're gonna have to slip your heel. You're gonna have to point it, slip it, and after you slip it, then you can carry on with this escape, okay? So again, one more time, guys, we're gonna start here. Keanu's gonna be doing his defensive posture, and his thumb's gonna go right there, and he's gonna now pop out the back door. Go ahead, Keanu, kick me in the butt, and then face me, and then uh, we do that again. All right, so uh, keep going, guys, and call myself the Kevin of the Indian. Guys, so now uh, we are gonna look over how to take you back. But guys, let's, let's, let's continue talking about this position. When I'm here, guys, right, when I'm like this, when Keanu has a defensive pop, pause, I'm not gonna be trying to grab or heel hook him, I'm not trying to do anything. A lot of times my elbow bone is going to be here and I'm going to start to go foot on foot because I'm going to look to invert, I'm, look, I'm going to look to re-expose the heel. This is if I want to stay on the leg, right? But we're not going to go over that. We're going to go around to attack the back, right? So some of you were like trying to dig for stuff. There's no digging for anything here. Another good way, this is a side tangent, but another really good way is to find his big toe, put his big toe into my chest, and you see his knees pointed away from me. I'm going to make his knee point back towards me. No, 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 no. Yeah, of course you're going to go ahead and then from here. Now I can look to go expose the heel once more, right? If he doesn't do that, he would have to tap, but he's not gonna tap, right? So now that Ken was here, okay, he's gonna put the thumb post. What I need to do, guys, is I need to prepare to come up. So in this instance, I'm gonna uncross my feet and I'm gonna go foot on foot. Now, first thing is I need to stand this out of the way, right? And I'm gonna allow Keanu to turn in the direction that he's turning. But as soon as he's turning in this direction, guys, I'm gonna windmill my leg up. I'm gonna do that egg beater that we do every day in class. So once more, as he's pushing, I'm gonna win this, one mil, uh, push that out and then move this leg out. And then as he runs away, I'm gonna ride it in. As Keanu's moving away from me, I'm gonna fit my knee right into his hip pocket. As soon as I fit into a knee's pocket, this hand is gonna be already covering right behind the neck. Sometimes I can wrist ride as well. It just depends, all right? I prefer the neck right away. I'm gonna lean over Keanu and I'm gonna step over his ankle. And now we're gonna do the day one basic back take from here. I'm gonna peel his heel toward, toward myself. Bottom hook comes in, escape my hip. Cross my feet over, chin goes on Keanu's neck, open him up, basic back. All right, so we need to perfect this. This works from the lowest to the highest levels, guys. The simplest, but one of the most effective ways to take it back. All right, so again, but it has to happen in one motion, right? So here, foot on foot, as he goes, I'm gonna take my foot out, and as he keeps running away, I'm coming in right into the, into the pocket, right? Since Keanu's running away from me, there was gonna be a gap between his elbow and his knee. And then that gap is where I'm placing my knee, I'm leaning on him, I'm stepping over his foot, seat belt coming in, peeling, bottom hook comes in, escaping my hip, opening the can away, putting this leg. Alright? Last time. Okay. Uh, why don't we do a whole sequence? Alright? So I'll do a whole sequence with piano. Let's say I'm here. Boom. I'm in shift to shin. I'm going here, Sam, I'm going to my reverse side. Mm -hmm. And now I'm bringing the piano up. And now he's gonna start to go. I'm gonna fan this out, and then from here, I'm gonna follow him through and finish with a back. All right, so for example, you can do a whole sequence like that, it looks really, really clean. Just tell your training partner exactly what we do. Alex, can we just do just the back take part one more time? Absolutely, so we're here, and then you can always go on YouTube later. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to it, today it doesn't matter. So we're looking at the this out, and as I fan this out, I'm taking this side out. Yeah, and then as I take it out, I'm going to have a clear pathway towards the back. And then now I'm grabbing at his hip and I'm riding the wave. As Keanu goes away from me, I'm able to now come up and follow him, bringing my knee to that pocket. And then I can go forward with the back six so and stuff. Cool? Let's get a check. Alright. So the thumb post is not a prerequisite. When I have Keanu here, like I just need to commit to my escape, right? With uh, Keanu without you taking my back, right? Like when I'm here, like I'm posting, I can also not post. You know, it depends. Like I can do so many different things. Like I could be clearing. Like maybe he's gonna have to start to use this foot to block my hip. Maybe I'm gonna have to push that. Up. It doesn't really matter. What matters is my commitment to run away from him. Because if I don't run away from him, then I'm in deeper water with the heel, right? With if my knee is in, in this in the circle. And then as I'm going, I can kick or I cannot kick it side. So that's kind of what we're uh, drilling to do. That's why it doesn't really matter if the leg is over or under, whatever. The person is gonna be committed to run away. And as they're committed to run away. As I take my leg out, I'll be able to ride that wave and I'll be able to, you know, uh, come and take the back. I just need to clear it and take out my own back. Cool? Alright guys, guys, uh, really quickly, everyone come on to the main back.